Hello and welcome. In this video I'm going to be talking about the waypoint system and how it changed in ITCR 1.8, where to access its controls and how to set up your waypoints, flight plans and edit them while you're in the air. Now we're going to start off by going into our MFD here and the steer point page and we're going to start by importing ourselves some waypoints. So just like in previous versions, if you have waypoints preset for yourself on a micro dagger, you can import them. This no longer goes automatically, but this does mean you can now do it whenever you want. This is done by the steer point mission waypoint page. On the left, there is the micro dagger import button. Now you can see we have a bunch of mission waypoints ready to play with and we're going to quickly set up a flight plan for ourselves. So as you can see here at the top there's three options, there's mission, flight and mark. The waypoint system is categorized into these three categories. We are now in the mission section which is basically used for any position you'll want to memorize um, but it's not necessarily something you want to fly past. Now you notice that the home one was already there. When you get into a plane currently, it will automatically generate a home waypoint on your starting position. So up here we can switch between flight plan, mission, mark and you'll notice that some of the symbology here will change and that's because all of the other systems in the aircraft that use your waypoints for anything they'll use one whichever mode you're currently on so when you're on your mark point mode you can't access your flight plan so we're going to be on our mission mode for now the flight plan is empty and to make a flight plan all we'll have to do is select the waypoint which you can do with the arrows and we just have to click to plan. So we got our home to plan. There you go. Now I have two target positions set up. So I'm going to fly over those. Then I'll put the carrier approach in. And I'm just going to end it off at home again. Now what you'll notice on the right side MFD is that there's now lines connecting the waypoints. When you're in your mission mode or mark mode, it does not do this. But your TAD map on flight plan mode will show you lines connecting all of your waypoints and the corresponding numbers. When you're in your flight plan mode, you can simply delete them or reorder them. You can't do much more here. So here you can see the order changing and as I change the order the lines on the map also get updated. This is pretty much all there is to a flight plan. Um, you can cycle which one you currently have selected here with the existing hotkeys page up page down or on your UFC waypoint management which is on system one and you can press steer next steer previous. If we go back to mission now, there's, as you can see, a bunch more functionality here. Here you can also change the order in which they are in on this list. You can delete them. You can change their position and elevation, which you can do by pressing pause or elevation. And then in your UFC, you can put in the new data and click enter. and you currently cannot change their names here and when you generate a new one it also will not have a name it will only have a number to identify it with uh, name editing will be added in future versions but as you can see when using uh, the micro dagger import, import it will import the names from there another thing of note is that uh, on your 
heads up display you will also see the current waypoint and the time of flight to it since we're currently standing still the time of flight calculation uh, is going a little crazy but uh, that'll help navigating this HUD display in version 1.8 it might be on your helmet mounted display and not on the HUD you'll notice when you'll use it it's pretty much flight plans and mission waypoints um, most missions what you'll be using a lot is mark points now mark points are a lot simpler you can't input them by grid you can't edit them you can't rename them um, there's a maximum of 26 they're automatically named A to Y and there's an extra mark point called Z which will automatically be saved wherever you lost fired your weapons so the way that mark points work is that you'll use these very quickly if you just want to memorize something for later uh, they can be made in two ways on your UFC here there is the mark button this will make what's called an overhead mark so you'll see we had A now we also have a mark B and this button just creates one on your current position when one is generated it'll set the name to the time that you made it at so you can use that for a reference to distinguish you can also generate a mark point from your sensors so now we are in the TAD and I can click the mark button and it'll generate one on my cursor and that is basically the only two ways to generate a mark point either here for an overhead mark or a center mark through this or through your helmet mounted display or TGP now if we think this mark point is important we need to save it for later it's important to steer it, save it to a mission waypoint because when you've got A through Y filled on your mark points it'll just start back at A and start overriding them so we can use the waypoint save button here and now it's in our mission waypoint system so it'll say it'll have just like all the other ones here a number then it will say mark C because it was imported from mark C at this time so just for reference it'll be useful for now until we can manually change it as, see, as you know the system has three modes when you are not in the steer point page you can also change those on this page and you'll see them update on the TAD and here on the HUD if we want to uh, push a mark point further than the mission waypoint we can also add it to the flight plan so the workflow there would be generate a mark point in any way we want so we have one here C we save it to a waypoint which we just did and now we can push it further into the flight plan and then we can just put it in the order we want it in there you go so now on the way back we'll fly over that mark point that is now in the flight plan as a waypoint so that is it um, so important to remember you can use your micro dagger at any point if you generate extra thing extra waypoints there and you import it will not duplicate them it'll always check the name and if the name doesn't exist yet then it'll add it you have your steer point page on your MFD you have your UFC system 1 um, to edit and control the waypoint system and that's pretty much all there is to it